It's that time again, boys and girls. It's story time. Today's story is entitled, Think Like a Computer, written by Teresa Ridgway and illustrated by Maria Gabriella Gamma. Teresa, time for bed. I whisper to my big sisters, Keela and Shayna. I think mom and dad are organizing a surprise birthday party for me tomorrow. I mean, it is meant to be a surprise. I spotted a few clues and I worked it out because I love solving problems. Hi, my name is Teresa. Most people think my name is Teresa, but it's actually pronounced tear, like a teardrop and then sa. I am super excited because it's my birthday tomorrow. I will be eight years old which is very grown up, practically an adult. Solving the problem of the surprise party was easy because there were three clues. Clue number one was the rushed phone call when I came in from school last Friday. Mom was on the phone, but she hung up as soon as I opened the door. So I knew she was secretly planning something. Clue number two, was the spare change jar. This is a big glass jar where dad puts all the change from his pockets after returning home from basketball practice. For a rainy day, he says, it was nearly full on Monday and now it's completely empty. And the biggest and best clue of all was clue number three, the secret shelf. This is a shelf at the very top of mom and dad's bedroom closet where they keep things they do not want me to see of course, I know all about it. And on Thursday, a big brown box appeared on a secret shelf. It must be full of secret party things. Teresa, are you still awake? If you not get to sleep soon, you will be too tired for... Too tired for what, Mom? Um, nothing, said Mom. You see what I mean? She's dropping clues left and right. Anyway, I guess mom is right. I do have a big day tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Keela and Shayna wake me with smiles and big birthday hugs. Here are all your cards and we will open your presents after school, says mom. Get dressed quickly or you'll miss the school bus, says dad. I'm so excited that I can hardly concentrate the whole day at school, not even in math class, which is my favorite. I love using creative ideas to solve the problems that Mrs. Boxy sets. Mrs. Boxy teaches us about inspiring mathematicians like Mrs. Katherine Johnson. She calculated the flight plan of the first American in space. How awesome is that? When I arrive home, I excitedly run up to the doorstep. Dad opens the door. Surprise, says everybody. My whole family is here. Even though I had worked it out about the party, it is still so nice to see everyone. The party is amazing. There is cake, singing, dancing, cousins, and many friends. The mom says, now it's time for your real surprise. But I thought the party was my surprise, I said. We knew you would solve the problem of the surprise party, said Dad, winking at Mom. So we got you a real surprise, one you would not guess. And they stand aside to reveal the big cardboard box from the secret shelf. It is all wrapped up with a red ribbon. I tear off the ribbon and inside is a computer, I gasped. We thought that a problem-solving girl needs a problem-solving machine, explained mom. It is not a brand new one, but it will get you started, said dad. It's perfect. I beamed and gave them the biggest hug. Thank you. Now it's Saturday morning, and all I have to do is get my new to me computer to work. When dad said it was old, he was not joking. 
I think this computer may have been older than him. And that is saying something. The first problem was how to turn it on. That was easy to solve. I just plugged it in and powered it up. There. But now, how do I get it to do something? It was easy to use mom's phone and computers in her classroom. They had loads of programs and apps. But this old computer doesn't seem to have any programs or apps or anything. Just this icon that says Python. I click on the Python icon and a new window opens. Blank like a fresh piece of paper. Wouldn't it be so cool if I can get the computer to talk to me? I say aloud. So I type, say hello on the blank screen and press enter. Nothing, not a zilch. Hmm, I think. I tried a few more options. Hello, type hello. Greet me, still nothing. How am I supposed to use this? I'm about to give up and turn it off when I remembered what Mrs. Boxy taught us about Katherine Johnson. When she began working, she did not even have a computer to use. She had to do all the calculations herself and she managed to do the math to put a person into space. I remember last week, my big sister Kayla said when she was helping me with my English homework. She said, when you're writing dialogue, you need to use quotation marks to show someone is actually speaking. So I quickly typed print quotation mark hello and press enter. Hello, says the computer. Woohoo! Print quotation mark hello, Teresa. I type hello, Teresa, said the computer. I typed print, quotation mark, how are you? How are you? asked the computer. I feel amazing, I replied while jumping around the room. Mom and dad came rushing in. What this noise about laughs, mom? I have solved the problem, I smiled. I got the computer to talk to me. That did not take long, smiled dad. Now, I said, hopping back to the computer, what can I get it to do next? Shana, my other big sister said, I have a few ideas. The end.